Okay, east property line. We need to do one more red bud, if that's what that is, is a red bud, which I believe it is, down here. And then eight to ten bushes. Uh, Forsythia do well here. The spirea and the butterfly bush have seemed to do okay there. So that is the east property line along the front. The back property line, we need to put a few shrubs there as well. Uh, the same plant palette. The Sestina Plum looks to be doing well. And for some reason, burning bush are hit or miss here. So along this, we need to just fill in with a couple shrubs as well. We need to raise that maple. It's got to come up probably 8 inches at least. Which is going to be pretty hard if it's been in there a couple years. But we need to raise that. Over here, we need to replace that burning bush because it is totally dead. <clears throat> and then here we have three pine which are dying out, I suspect from who knows what, maybe deer, I don't know. But we need to limb up three of the pine and then put in three shrubs around the bottom of each of those and add drip to them. Spirea, Barberry, or Potentilla was what she mentioned. And then down here by the bench we have a dead uh, burning bush and so we'll pull that and she would like a lilac in its place just back back in there a little bit further a lilac that'll fill in that entire spot and then here she wants two bushes just to fill in that area a little bit more around that bench <clears throat> and then right here we're going to pull that tree. That tree is dead. So put a 8 foot hoop eye in there. And then limb up that apple tree, get rid of the bottom branches. Then we're going to pull that, that tree right there, take it out completely, and replace it with a spruce. This tree, she's just going to let it be, let it go. Because you can't see it very much. Here she wants two yellow freestone peach trees. Going to have to run drip to it somehow. So just two evenly spaced that she can plan, plan around. I don't know. But two freestone peach trees in there. And then she wants over here take some of these gate panels and you can see where the deer are forcing their way in and just making a mess of things so we need to take these extra panels here double it up so that the deer can no longer squeeze through there she wants a spruce right there one like a five foot spruce and then an eight to ten foot spruce there and then Uh, we just go back up to this east side property line where she'd just like a few more plants just to thicken this area up. So all along here. Just kind of as needed. Which doesn't look bad to me, but she's wanting it a little more a little more protected. Or a little more of a visual screen to the neighbors. So half a dozen bushes in that area. And that's it.